Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Dabbling DIYer. Today, I got a quick video for you where we're going to build two, yes, you heard it correct, not one, but two different types of garden trellises. Uh, I was at Home Depot the other day and they had garden trellises uh, for sale. One of them, the fan style trellis, was $22. Um, the box style was $17 and I got to thinking I could build that for so much cheaper. So what I did was I picked up a couple of the cedar fence pickets. They're $3.98 each. So the fan style garden trellis will take one picket. The box style for like your beans or something like that will take one picket. So I put together a little jig so that if you guys wanted to make this jig, you could replicate this. You could make as many of these as you wanted. Um, it's a, obviously, it would be a good one that you could sell. You could get your kids involved. Y'all can make 20 or 30 of these, and you could sell these for half the price Home Depot or Lowe's does, and you can make a little bit of money. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take our fence picket. We're going to set our table saw blade to one inch wide and we're going to rip these pickets one inch wide. I set five pieces out. Two are just squared on the ends. Two will have a point on the end because these were dog ear pit pickets. So when I cut these, it left a point on the end, which is completely fine. We're gonna leave those because we're gonna be able to use these for our stakes to drive this fan into the ground. So don't cut those ends off. And then we're gonna have the last piece which is that three quarter inch piece that's gonna be used for our cross bracing. The next step is to cut these to the desired length. Now I want my fan to be five foot tall, so I'm gonna cut these two with the square ends to five foot. Then I'm gonna leave these two at six foot because these were six foot pickets. That way it gives me a foot where I can stake these into the ground. And then this will cut as needed. So we are cutting the two pieces with the square ends to five foot. And we're gonna leave the two pieces with the points on the end at six foot long. That fifth piece, we're just gonna use that for our cross member, so we won't cut that at this time. Don't throw away your cutoffs because if you're making a lot of these, save this for one of your cross braces later on. All right, so let's set up our jig. Take your three quarter inch piece, set it to the side. Take your two with the points on the far end and put them on the outside and put your two five foot pieces in the middle. Now we're standing these up on our side to give them a little more thickness. We got a one inch thick piece. And all you're gonna do, and I just use a two by four, Lay your two by four here. Put all four of your pieces up together so you get a nice straight edge and then throw your clamp on it. All right, so now we've got this end clamped. This is our top side. This is the side we're gonna fan out later on. Do the same thing at the bottom. Go ahead and throw your clamp on it because we're going to put a bolt in that end. All right, so here's the other side. We've got our two pieces that are longer. They have our points on the end. And then we've got our two shorter pieces in the middle. We're going to put a bolt through right here. That way we can put tension on it and that will hold it together nice. 
So go ahead and drill your pilot, pilot hole and stick you a bolt in this end. Get out of here, beef. Go somewhere. All right, I think I got rid of the beef. We got a pilot hole drilled. Go ahead and take your bolt, stick it through your pilot hole. Stick you a nut on the other side. All right, so we have our bolt in. We'll take our clamps off now. And let me let me show you guys the jig that we have made. So this is our jig. I just used a piece of plywood. It's the same plywood I had on my table. I put four screws, eight inches apart. There's an eight inch gap, an eight inch gap, and an eight inch gap. So two foot wide span. Just take your piece, set it right in the middle of the two screws. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch your fan out. So let me show you guys that part. This is all you need to make these fans. You don't need any fancy jigs or anything like that. Just square it up on your table. Square it up here. And now we'll get to stretching our fans. Take your furthest and put it over here on this side of the screw. See how much tension we have on this? Now this second one's gonna be the hardest one because it's the furthest one you gotta stretch. Just stretch it slow. Go to the outside of this screw. And then we're going to take our two middle ones, and they go on these screws. And there you have your fan. It's all stretched out. It's centered in the table. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if you want to make it perfect, draw you some lines on your template where your ends are at. And then you can line every single fan up to those ends. Wherever you're going to put your cross members, draw your lines on your table. I'm going to put one here. One here and one here, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna I'm gonna measure mine, and I'm gonna do an even distance in between all three of them. So let's work on our truck cross members now. We have got our piece on our jig, and we have lined it up with our table saw because I know that's square. It's completely laid straight. So what I did was I marked where my jig lays on my table. So I can always put it back there. I mark the tops so we can get our tops almost lined up every time. I took and marked where on my table I want my cross braces to go. So now if I want to make 20 of these, all I got to do is line it all up with these marks, line my cross braces up. Everything's on center, so you just eyeball it if you're looking at it. there you go there's your trellis now you can bang these out in 10 15 minutes if you've got somebody helping you cutting these boards for you you could easily make 20 or 30 of these in a day all right so i'm going to use a brad nailer you can use whatever you would like screws uh staples just uh nail your pieces across and it is complete So there we have it. So now all you gotta do is take it off your jig. Man, let me get this stuck in the garden. I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, there, so there we have it. Got our two trellises behind our squash and our cucumbers. We're gonna try to grow these up these trellises this year.
All right, let's go back in the shop and we'll build that second box trellis. All right, guys. Um, so I went ahead and I laid out our next trellis. So we took our other four pieces from our second piece of fence picket. Um, the two without the points on the end, we cut to five foot. And those are our two outside pieces. And then we took the two with the points on the end. That's gonna act as our stakes. Left those at six foot. So as you can see here, we have a pretty tall trellis. So what we're gonna do is lay these up on their side because we want them to be thick. And I've got a two by four. I'm lining everything up with my table. And I've got a two by four up here at the five foot mark across my table saw so I can butt everything up against it. So I've made marks on my table again so I got a mark here and a mark here at one foot. So we have a foot in between each piece. It's 36 inches wide. 12, 24, 36. So what we're going to do now is all we gotta do is add cross bracing. And this is a square trellis. We'll add a piece at the top, a piece in the middle, and a piece right here. You can put them as close or as far apart as you want to. Got this trellis laid out. I'm gonna leave um, I'm actually using the same lines I used on my fan trellis because they're marked on my table for the gaps. I did have to use the left off piece from our fan for our cross member, but I still only use two pieces of cedar. So we have to nail this together, but this is the completed second trellis. And I'll get it stood up here. Now you can go in here and you can put pieces in the middle if you want to buy an extra fence picket. You can make these closer together. I'm growing beans on these, so I don't need mine to be super close together. So let me get this nailed together, and that will complete the second trellis. Last one, I just use brad nails. Uh, just put two nails in each one. I'm gonna get this stood up. Now this is a pretty tall trellis here. Same height as the fan, but it's wider. And there we have it. Um, so this is a good trellis for beans or for vines, any kind of plant that you got growing. And like I said, at Home Depot, I believe they put a top on theirs. I like to leave my ends long, but however you guys want to do it. So let me go stick this one in the garden and we'll call these projects complete. All right, so there we have it. Uh, these are our beans and I'll take and I'll tie these beans off to this trellis and they should be able to grow up to five foot tall. And we made these two fan trellises and that one big trellis for 10 bucks. If you guys like this video, please click subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you on the next one.